So one thing that I've learned from being around entrepreneurs and having been an entrepreneur for many years is that uh, what entrepreneurs do is they think about something and they say there has to be a better way. That's right. And uh, you didn't invent ticketing. You know, the people like Live Nation and Ticketmaster who are around, uh, they're very big, but you've figured out a better way of matching people to things that may be other people like them. So, you know, it becomes a, a relationship opportunity, but you also match them to uh, events that are almost, uh, you know, happening without uh, much foreplanning. And so they, they're into money uh, to, uh, uh, you know, events um, that are really tough mutter type examples. They, they want to be able to know when the next one's going to happen that they might actually have a chance to go and see. So how do you take that better way that you've come up with, which really is reinventing uh, the whole concept of uh, how, at least I'm thinking about events as you describe it, how do you uh, turn that into a business? Well, we anchor around two core principles, which is innovation and great experience, great service. And I think those two things, along with low fees, are things that were typically missing in traditional ticketing. So when you think about an incumbency market, uh, it's pretty easy to beat down the, the 800 pound gorilla and say, oh, they're horrible. But obviously, as you pointed out, they were doing something right. They invented this whole way in which we experience uh, live events. But for us, I think it's about staying true to what we know we can't compromise, which we can't compromise innovation. We can't compromise the way in which we build our technology and bring it to the masses, make it, making it simple and intuitive, which is harder than one would think, as you know. And we can't compromise what we want to build, which is a love brand. And that's by simply thinking about people mm -hmm. and delighting them. Um, at the core of everything we do, it's not very complicated, but it's really interesting how we can complicate things when we get focused on the wrong goal, which typically has to do with money uh, or, or business growth. And it's not that we're not focused on that, it's just that we come back to center all the time on what is going to delight our customers and how are we going to continue to be at the cutting edge of technology and innovation. Because we believe that's what's going to you know, get us to our end goal, which our end goal is being ubiquitous with all live events all over the world. Uh, and that's going to take us some time to achieve.